Hello. Husky's back again with more Edmonton Oilers GM Adventures mode commentary. Well, wow, last video we managed to get past the first round in the Anaheim Ducks. They were uh, a scary bunch, but we did it. Uh, we have now drawn the Providence. Yeah, Providence Rivals and the Calgary Flames who swept the Arizona Coyotes 4 0. The only, oh no, there are a couple sweeps in the East. Um. Calgary's been a solid team in the past two years. They've really picked it up since their kids have progressed. I assume it's Brody, Kachuk. Oh, right, Drysaddle's here. Shit. Shinkaruk, Valeno. Right, they have Valeno. Yuri Kasparitis. He's an 89. Damn. Johnny Goudreau. Oh, he's hurt, though. Okay, that's good. Mirko Mueller. Yeah, this team is sick. Like, across the board, just sick. Like, they've drafted great. Their kids that are still here are good. We're going to need some... Uh, we're going to need some more production out of our guys here. We did not have a lot of goal scoring in that last series. Yeah, we need some... We need some help. All right, and before I start the series, just want to throw the idea out there. I've come into a copy of FIFA 17, and I'm trying to gauge the interest of doing a manager career commentary, taking a Football League 1 team and trying to get them to the Premier League. Um, let me know your suggestions, comments, ideas. Um, I'll probably start it this week regardless, but it's, it's something I really enjoy. It would be the same thing as NHL. But we're going to go ahead and I'll talk about it after we beat the Flames. Good start. Kreisky. Nice. Nice. Done him. All right. We're looking good. Our defense is playing good. We've got some offense going. Nice. Veselainen. Let's go. Come on. Five on four. Put it away. I mean, I think the game's already over. <clears throat> Doubled their shots almost. Oh, we did double their shots. Nice. 3 nothing win in game one. Nice. That's what I want to see. Three different goal scorers. Alright. Roman Yossi's back to 100%. <clears throat> go ahead and get game two on the board. Let's go. Alright, we gave up a goal, but Forsberg's on the board. Nice. Alright. Forsberg again. Okay, Forsberg's got two. We need that first line to... I'm surprised McDavid hasn't scored yet. That's uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Do a quick double check on my sound. Make sure I'm synced up. I should be. No. Power play. Oh, the Monaghan gets a power play goal. Eight. Calgary really came out to play here in game two. Damn, that was rough. It's alright. We'll get him back in game three. We'll go to Calgary and beat him. Keith Foster's back. Oh, nice. Oh, and this video is probably only going to be this series. Uh, it's pretty late. And once it gets to a certain time, I kind of don't want to be talking. For the fear of waking people up. So we'll probably just do this Calgary series and then I'll... Hopefully it's San Jose recorded tomorrow. All right, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Oof. Big start. All right, at least McDavid's on the board, but Corpus Hall gave up three goals all pretty much from right. Where's our defense? Like, those are quality chances. It's all right, we got them. We'll, we'll tighten the second. All right, we... Wow, we had 16 shots that period. We were all over them. Bala, Vitala? Balada? Vitala? I think it's Vitala. Vilta. Vicklin. Nice. Come on. Come on. We're going to go to overtime in game three here. Oh, of course we are. 41 shots, 43 shots. Come on. Come on, put it away. 47 shots. This Valta kid's really holding a minute. 
Oh, Tululo, 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 Tululo. I don't know. I'm assuming another Finnish guy. All right, two to one Calgary. Got to get this figured out here, boys. We need some offense. There we go. Connor and Boucher. Nice. There we go. Vicklin McDavid Forsberg. I think that's. I think this game's in a bag. I probably don't even need... Ooh, wait. Johnny Goudreau. Calgary's not dead yet. Nice. Trace Thatcher. Power play goal. <clears throat> Another power play? Nice. We're looking good. We're giving up a lot of shots, but Corpus is standing strong in this game. Come on. There we go. Six to one. That's a statement game right there. Tied up two to two. Coming back to Edmonton. Alright, let's go. Let's take a big three two lead here. Alright, one to one. McDavid on the board. He's coming alive this series. Another tie game going. Nice, Bicklin. Bicklin's coming alive too, which is good. Still unsure if I should change him to a sniper or leave him as a power forward. Because I change him to a sniper. And I go through a trade in Connor for a first liner. Ooh, Casparitis ties it. I'd have an abundance of snipers in my top six, but maybe that's not a bad thing. Alright, back to overtime. Come on, Edmonton. Nice, good kill. Man, they're outplaying us this game. We just can't solve this goalie, man. Oh, power play late in overtime. Oh, and they get a shorty. Are you kidding me? Cast brightest. All right, three games of two. Calgary favor. Let's see if we can tie it up. Force game seven. We were able to come back from 3-1 on the Ducks. We should be able to come back from 3-2 on the Flames. Not a good start. Valeno and Shinkrook both get on the board. All right, we're down by two going into the third. Our offense has been non-existent this series, it seems like, aside from that one six-goal outburst. And we're taking a ton of penalties. Nine minutes left. I don't have much faith here, boys. I think that's I think that's season over for the Edmonton Oilers. Paquette gets the dagger. And that is series over. Another early defeat in the playoffs for the Edmonton Oilers. Four games of two to the Calgary Flames. Um, I think I'm going to have to do a little shake over the top six. I like most of it. Um, one thing that I might look into moving is... I know Connor's at the top of the list to kind of try to use him to get a first-line sniper. But one name you didn't see at all that entire postseason uh, was William Nylander. And Nylander's a guy that the Winnipeg Jets won the Stanley Cup. Good for them. Uh, William Nylander's a guy that never showed up this year. I don't even think he showed up last year. I'll have to check his stats. But William Nylander might be someone to look into. Oh, my phone's not muted. I'm a bad YouTuber. Um, nobody retired. That's good. I wonder if Crosby or Veskin retired. Oh, Malkin retired. And Kopitar. Damn. Kopitar's only 35. Yeah, I think... I'm gonna look at stats, but I think Nylander is... A guy I can look to try to move as well. Um, Connor, he had a good playoff run, but I, he's just not really, I don't think he's, I mean, he had eight points in 13 games, but Nylander had seven. He's a playmaker. I know he doesn't have the greatest line mates. Um, his morale's trash every season. He had seven points this year. He had three points last year. He had 12 points the year prior, six points in seven games. That's pretty good, but he was a minus nine and a minus six. And season stat-wise, 50 points, 50 points. I mean, he had that one 70-point season. But he was playing with Pacioretty still, I believe. So Nylander might be someone to look at. 
Uh, Kyle Connor's another. He's an 86 overall. Um, I have to sign him this offseason. So he might end up being a sign-in trade. Vickland. I'm liking Vickland. I might have to change him to a sniper. I need to see what I can get for Connor. As it's going to be... Like if I go to trade and improve, let's see what Connor's trade value is. I'm sure New Landers is much higher. Oh, actually, they're both pretty. Oh, yeah, New Landers is considerably higher. God, look at all the trade values I have, man. New Landers is considerably higher than Connor. I'm not gonna get anything from Connor. Um, I'm what I might end up doing is not resigning him, or because I don't even think I can qualify him. Because I just don't think he's worth... Because he's making 4.8 right now. I don't think he's going to be worth anything more than 5. And I'm sure that's what he'll want. Uh, Sam Bennett's going to want to go. Because he's playing 4th line minutes. Um, I might use Willie Nylander. Because he's making, what, 6.1? I might trade Nylander for a, for a first line sniper. Because if I get rid of Connor... We got this Arneson kid, too. He might turn into something. I'll do some research off camera to see what I can get for possibly Nylander or if I can swing Connor. But Connor has no trade value. So if I want a first liner, I have to trade Nylander. And Nylander hasn't had the best time. And like I said, his morale, he's a crybaby. He's absolutely a crybaby. Even before, the only reason I was able to get him because he was crying about Toronto. So I think he might be the one to go. But... We'll figure it out in the next video. Um, as always, leave any suggestions, inputs. Uh, make sure to leave your comments if you would enjoy a FIFA kind of manager commentary. Uh, I love FIFA. Everything about FIFA I enjoy. Um, I'm not as intelligible in terms of players as I am in NHL. But I still have a fun time. I've been to a manager career for the past three years. Uh, so like a, a road to the Premier League type thing would be what I would do. Take like... A team not in the conference below the Premier League, but the one below that. So I'd have to get two promotions to get to the Premier League. But yeah, let me know about that. Um, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.